kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey, Jody cooking, delicious cooking. Hi guys, it's Jody. Wagwan, wagwan. Today I have a delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make stewed chicken with rice. Yes, a one pot meal. So guys, this is my chicken right here. I'm using leg and thigh, skin off. And this is three and a half pound, okay? I cut it and I also wash it in some lime, lemon juice. Anything you have, just to remove, you know, any rawness away from it. So that's my rice right here at the back. And I'm using basmati rice. And this is three and a half to four cup. Okay, you can use whichever rice you have, it doesn't really matter. One teaspoon of my pimento seed. Bell peppers, I'm using off. I have the yellow, the red, and green mixed with yellow, yes. And as I said, I'm using off bell peppers, okay? And I cut it in, you know, dice sizes. Yeah, this is how I cut it. My onion, I'm using half of onion that I cut also. Three cloves of garlic, two stalks of scallion, one tablespoon of my fresh thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, just a small amount. These are all of my seasoning. Here I have one tablespoon of my all purpose seasoning, one tablespoon of chicken seasoning, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Yes. I'm also going to add tomato cut. Yeah, so this is how I cut it. Guys, I'm telling you, this recipe is going to be so delicious. Please don't forget to share. Share this video to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned. So guys, now I'm going to season my chicken. And this is how I cut my chicken. You know, not too big, a bit small. Firstly, I'm going to add some olive oil. At least one tablespoon of olive oil. Then I'm going to mix all my seasoning together. And mix it all in. It does have to be perfect, okay? Just going to add it. I'm gonna leave back this amount, okay? Now I'm gonna add my scotch bonnet pepper that I cut. I'm not gonna use a lot, this is the amount that I'm using because I don't want it to be, you know, so spicy. I'm gonna add my scallion, my fresh thyme, and my garlic, okay? My pimento seed. Onion, bell peppers, guys I'm loving the color, I'm gonna leave back a bit of my bell pepper, I'm loving the color guys, it's looking so pretty, pretty pretty pretty, nothing like some good fresh herbs on your meat, my tomato, I'm going to leave back some also. And I'm also going to add some of my wet jerk marinade from the bottle. And I'm going to add at least two teaspoons, okay? Yeah, that's it right there. Don't want to add too much because it's very spicy. So guys, for this part, you can always use a gloves, okay? I'm just going to take my nice clean hand and just, you know, massage it all in. I'm gonna brown my sugar. I'm not gonna use no farmer browning from the bottle. I'm just gonna make my own browning. Guys, I'm telling you, it smells so good. Make sure that everything is all combined, okay? So guys, my chicken is nicely, nicely seasoning and this is what it looks like. As I said, you can always leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes, okay? Yes. So 
So guys, now I'm gonna brown my sugar. So to my pot, I add at least just over one tablespoon of my olive oil. You can always use vegetable oil. So now I'm gonna add my brown sugar and I'm gonna add at least one and a half tablespoon to two tablespoon of my brown sugar, okay? Try not to add too much. Yeah, that's it. And you're just gonna leave it, guys, just for a couple of seconds. Try not to turn up your stove too high, okay? Because you don't want your sugar to brown too much. So my stove is on a medium heat at this moment. Make sure that your window is open. Because, guys, when this ready to smoke, may I tell you, you're gonna start cough. <laughs> It's very smoky. Do you see that the sugar is started to melt? Yes, that's exactly what you want. But I want mine to be more darker, so I'm just gonna leave it for a couple more seconds, okay? So guys, as you can see, it's becoming very foamy. So now I'm gonna soon add in my chicken, okay? Now I'm gonna add my chicken. So guys, try not to add so much of the onion and the bell peppers, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it. Look at that, it looks so good. Nice and caramelized. So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave it for at least three minutes, okay? I'm not gonna cover it. I'm gonna turn my stove up a bit higher, yeah? So guys, just after three to four minutes, this is what it look like. I'm telling you, it looking super, super delicious. So nice and so mouth watering. As you can see, a lot of water spring forth from the chicken. It produce a lot of liquid. So guys, this is the bowl that I use to season my chicken. And this is all the herbs that leave back. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my rice to the bowl, okay? I'm gonna show you. This is how I'm gonna add my rice. Yeah. Like so. I'm gonna mix it all in. So now I'm gonna add my rice. This is gonna be so delicious guys, trust me, it's gonna be so good, so so good. So now that I had my rice guys, I'm just gonna mix it all in. Because I want, you know, all the rice to absorb in all that delicious, delicious liquid right there. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to add some chicken stock. 
and I just add it to some water and I'm gonna pour it okay and this is at least three and a half cup okay so now I'm just gonna add all my remaining bell peppers tomatoes onions my remaining garlic and scallion and this is the season that leave back I'm gonna add it also guys I'm telling you it looking so 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 delicious super delicious I'm gonna also add some salt at least half teaspoon of my salt and you can always taste it to your liking okay Gonna mix it all in. I'm gonna also add some ketchup, at least one tablespoon of my ketchup. I cannot wait to eat this. I know it's gonna be so nice and so flavorful. Try not to press on the chicken so hard because you don't want it to, you know, to get too soft, okay? So guys, now I'm just gonna leave it and allow it to cook, okay? I'm not sure how long it's gonna cook for, but I will let you guys know exactly how much, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn my stove on a low heat. You don't want to turn up your stove too high, otherwise it's going to burn, okay? Across all your social media platforms for more of these amazing delicious recipes from Jody Cooking. Jody Cooking, delicious cooking. Jody Cooking, straight from the kitchen. Jody Cooking, delicious cooking. Jody Cooking, straight from the kitchen. So guys, it is all finished and it's been cooking for at least just over 45 minutes, okay? But you want to make sure that your stove is on a low heat because you don't want it to burn. And what I did also, guys, when it's cooking for at least 10 minutes, I put some file paper over it so it's steamed properly. You can also put a bag. I'm going to remove it. Look at that, guys. Oh, steam, steam. All that steam come right on my camera. <laughs> Guys, it came out perfect and it looking super, super delicious. I'm telling you. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some butter, which is optional. At least two teaspoons of my butter. Yeah. I'm going to just mix it all in. look at that the chicken is perfectly cooked guys see that so yummy some scallion just gonna take your time and just mix it the rice is perfectly cooked guys I don't like my rice to be watery. I want it to, you know, cook right through. Look at that. So yummy. And I'm also going to add just a bit of parsley, you know, for color. Guys, I'm telling you, this recipe right here is a must try. It is so, so flavorful and super, super delicious. The rice cooked to perfection. It is so nice and so shelly. And the chicken is not too soft. I want it to be, you know, firm. I don't want it to be too mushy in the pot. It cooked perfectly also, I'm telling you. I cannot wait for you all to try this recipe. Come on, no se una go like it, honestly. Don't forget guys to please give me a thumbs up, 
share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i would really really appreciate it if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel where are we at pan subscribe right now and i thank you all so much thank you so it is all plated up and i'm telling you guys i cannot wait for you all to try this recipe if you try it don't forget to comment below and tell me what it's like okay i thank you all so much for watching until next time bye Jody is cooking, she is cooking up a storm, and me like oh she a guan.